Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Awakening. Where shall we start? I think these are probably just items in here. No, Christos Mementos, okay. Not what I was expecting. I think I can help with that. A letter from Aura to Christoph. No. There we go. A letter from Aura. Dearest Christoph, my sister and her babe are well. I shall leave Jada as soon as they're settled. Expect me at Vigil's Keep within the month. Ferelden is cold and wet, so make sure your socks are dry before you put them on. I know how it is with men. You can slay a thousand darkspawn, but when it comes to clean clothes and dry socks, you're hopeless. I can't wait to see you. Love, Aura. Hmm. Aura is a good spell. As you say. Christoph's Journal. Few in town have heard anything about Darkspawn stragglers. I doubted reports myself until a man told me he encountered Darkspawn in the Black Marsh. Although locals say the marsh is haunted, brave and desperate souls like this man still risk collecting peat. The man said their leader spoke, but all know Darkspawn cannot talk. More horrifying, he described a monster, a worm, with legs. Surely he was mistaken about it following the Darkspawn. I shall leave for Black Marsh in the morning. From the Journal of Christoph, Grey Warden. He's probably spoken to the same man we did, so that doesn't really add any more credence to the story. This map of the Arling shows several locations, each crossed out except for a place called the Black Marsh. Well, I think it is safe to assume our next stop is the Black Marsh. I should probably clear our inventory before going to a new dungeon. I think we've already cleared the Smuggler's Cove. Yeah, I'm sorry everybody, but we're gonna have to do an inventory. The Nug Crusher is a very, very old weapon, but I don't know what telekinetic means. I have no idea what that means. But it does give me um, extra mana, which is really all I'm using it for. Well, that looks better than what you've got. I don't really care about the extras, but just the, the raw damage is much better. See, I don't know how important some of these things are. Is rapid aim important for a staff? I don't think it has been before. Way better. Now you've got light armor tier nine, so I doubt anything much is going to live up to that, is it? Oh, maybe that will. I don't think we want 24% fatigue. It's annoying that your boots are restriction rogue. Because otherwise I'd stick them on uh, Trini. Mm. 
Now currently you have an item set bonus. So you got 33 and 59. Actually, I think you don't need to worry about it because Armour of the Legion is much better. Oh, well, that was easy in the end. No real decisions to make there. Take the con, I think. Any of these are very good for anything else, are they? Well, that wasn't too bad. We will take the, um, uh, what you call them, runes off of our things before we dump them. May I point out that you're all right? Oh, what brought this on? Really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. Oh, you're not so much trouble. Plus, I fucking hate Templars. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park with Darkspawn. Coupled with an early death, yes. Nothing's perfect. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander, for everything. May I be of service? Certainly. Oh, that's not what I meant. May I be of service? Of course. Some of those weapons had good names, like they might be good. I don't really know what that does, but we might have a one-armed character at one point. We'll take that. We used that for ages, but it's just not that good anymore. I don't think the leg crusher is that good. And this reduces hostility, which is good, and it's good versus dragons, but it's unlikely, I think, to actually equip it at any point. I don't really care much for the lightning rod. See, the bear's embrace is pretty good, but it's not amazing. See, Venture looks to be amazing. I think we can probably dump everything else. Mind you, Landsmeet Shield looks good. Everything else can go. Yes. Yes. Uh. You're back. You need anything? Oh. And if I ever do need it back, hopefully I can come here and buy it back. trying to remember we got instructions we needed a flawless ruby which is probably not the same as a ruby by the looks of it i'm gonna guess flawless diamond is another item that we need for crafting ah oh, we don't have a splat book guardian we'll take that
I almost binned that. No, we'll keep that. I've got two level ups here. We might as well do it all in one go, I think. Oh, you got nine. I don't have a shapeshifter. I've got a blood mage. I never use shapeshifter, but for versatility, we'll take shapeshifter. And you might as well head to animate dead if you started it. Let's do that. Continually harms enemies while the spell is active. The spell consumes mana rapidly, so we've got some, um, some good moves with the battle mage. It just really hammers our armor, mana. Hoot Hoot just really stood out they on the tree. This marsh was once inhabited until one day everyone disappeared. The rickety old sign reads, Beware, the Black Marsh is haunted. I'm scared. Hold me. Tell you what, there's a lot of things here. Oh, I've got more stuff. Sustained personal. Why don't I move everything along the tomb instead? As you say. Black it Marsh. is Father used to tell me stories about the Black Marsh when I was young. He said evil magic killed everyone here. This was just before the rebellion. A great mystery at the time. Did he tell you anything else about the place? They never found out what happened here. Once the monsters appeared, the marsh was abandoned. I used to dream of coming to the Black Marsh and setting things right. Little boy dreams. You're doing it now, aren't you? So I am. If someone had told me I'd end up here, I would have laughed at them. But times change. When I was in Kirkwall, I thought I would return to Ferelden to take command of my father's garrison. Now, here I am. A Grey Warden and fighting both Darkspawn and demons. Interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I don't imagine there are many who would agree with us. Anyway, the haunted marsh awaits. I've actually warmed to Nathaniel. He's not a bad guy at I've all. I've thought about what you said, Anders. The comparison between my family and mages, it's idiotic. I'm not about to transform into an abomination simply for being a how. I didn't say it was a perfect analogy. Being a how also does not allow me to control your mind. Kind of missing my point, aren't you? I am not a fan of oversimplifications. Fine, fine. Your loss. Nathaniel's not a bad guy. I'm glad we saved him. I guess part of that is because he seems to realise that I was right about his father. Just on his own terms, he's not bad. Let's make this quick! Too slow! Tell you what, it does 
merciful! I can see that's going to be it pretty useful be against big hordes of enemies. Empty poison bottle and a tattered letter. The trail of love. Bonnie's angry letter. Corin, is our relationship a joke? Am I a joke to you? What am I supposed to think waking up to this love note? Follow my trail of love, my darling. You are my hen, the mistress of my flock. You nourish my body and tend to my rooster. Really, Corin, I tend to your rooster? That's the most disgusting thing I've heard in my entire life. You said there was a surprise waiting for me. I'm supposed to follow your trail? Ugh, I despise you. I abhor you, you petty, ill-made wart. You said last week everything would be different for us. Well, you're right. I'm leaving. With venom and spite, Bonnie. What, just because he used a bad euphemism? I don't Very know well. a euphemism. Hominin? Synonym? Synonym for cockerel. I'm going with synonym. Dead. Kristoff's doing, maybe. That answers that, I suppose. The Darkspawn are definitely here. Good news is that spell is sick. As you say. Very well. Better take it a bit more carefully round here. Lost beneath the trees, he lifts a weary head and sees her. Her burning love lights his way home. Catgut. I needed that for one of the quests. Make some rubbish. I'll try and take this a bit more seriously. Everyone keeps dying. I don't know why it doesn't affect me. But when the blighted werewolves die, every everyone else keeps dying. Why does it not affect me? It must be the um, combat magic. Away with you.
No, no idea. As you say. The burden of guilt. Carsten Wilde's last testament. Oh, there's loads of it. They came to me. Carsten Wilde's last testament. They came to me for help, these three beautiful maidens of the marsh. They were young, beautiful, vital, and everything she desires. They gave me gold, jewels, and family heirlooms. I imagined their mothers and fathers, uncles and brothers, pressing those treasures into their hands, enough to ransom a life promised to their baroness. I agreed to spirit them away from Black Marsh. She learned of it. She appeared the night before. Her eyes were flat, dull stones. Her hair was stringy and streaked with grey. And I saw why she needed the women. I hid them in my wagon. The youngest embraced me before she crawled beneath the bales of hay. She said, Make her bless and watch over you. I drove them to the crossroads where the Baroness's men waited. He took the wagon. Their families never knew. The witch, as good as her word, brought me a chest of gold. She twirled like a little girl, eyes now sparkling. You've earned every bit, merchant. The gold was no comfort. I saw their faces on each sovereign, heard their voices in the tinkling of the coins. I couldn't bear it. I buried it all in the deepest part of the marsh. Still, I found no peace. There will be no peace for me until I stand before the maker. Carsten Wilde attached his map to the cache. So much rubbish here, and I use the term How the Baroness one of people's hearts. Okay, it's just a just a normal codex entry. We've got a toy horse, which must be it for some be puzzle at some point. like something ghostly. Almost like the Fane. Veiled hair. Are you quite sure? It is not passable to pass through here. <laughs> Christos Lockett. got an injury. I still haven't worked out why the shadow wolves kill everybody. I am Very well. Oh, there's loads more of them. Well, it didn't take a genius to work out what's going to kill Nathaniel. I don't get it. I generally don't get why those first two batches of wolves killed me. I can't remember where I was going or what I was doing, but there's a cot here. 
This might not have been Christoph's camp. No, it might have been Christoph's camp, but it hasn't been used for days. Be careful now. As you say. Where's all the rest of them? As you say. Rip's page. The Baroness's secret, the Codex of the Secrets of the Stones. It's a it's a book and song, it's not a puzzle. As you say. The lost drug because we needed more little bitty quests right now. The lost dragon bones. Find the scattered dragon bones, suggesting one of the beasts once died in Black Marsh. Are you quite sure? I'm not sure at all where I've been or what I've done. Well, we found a stash. It wasn't really that good. If there hadn't been a note telling me it was a stash, I would have just assumed it was random loot. Oh, 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 oh. It shall be done. I think I can help with that. It might be a good idea to find this Baroness person. Oh, we Are could you just quite go. Sure? That would be good too. That was the game, that was the game. Is that it? That can't be it. This isn't even a blight. Oh, I didn't register they were new forms of Darkspawn. I just thought they looked really weak and trivial. I see. Uh, Christoph. It shall be done. is your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. And the mother, she was right. 
The mother is always right. There are multiple talking darkspawn, a hundred percent. So who is this mother then? The mother is she that sent me. She that wished you to come to hear this place. I here before you is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. as well. It cannot be this. Thank you, Mother. This is what I always wanted. Back in the Fade. You weren't first in your class, I take it. The Mother, she has deceived me. I am betrayed. I can never trust my Mother either. Now I am being trapped in the Fade with you. Ah. I am the fool. So, it uh, looks like someone was considered expendable. I am the first. I am not being expendable. Both the Grey Warden and the Mother shall be learning this. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. Back to the mother. Uh huh. So there are multiple Tolkien Dark spawn, and it doesn't appear they are friends with each other. We will be investigating this more next episode. Excellent! What was that thing? Who is the mother? Another Darkspawn? Hmm. More talking Darkspawn. And now some mother to go along with it. Cute. Find out the answer to this and many other questions on the next episode of Dragon Age Origins Awakening. The Legend of Luthius Dwarfson At an early age, Luthius was smaller than most children of the Alamari. At the age of twelve, Luthius saved Tutha, the son of the tribal chief, from his own dog. The dog had gone rabid, and when it attacked Tutha, Luthius slew it with his bare hands. Tutha's father, Mabin, was impressed with Luthius's strength and bravery, and so took him in as his own son. When Luthius grew to manhood, he became known for his charisma and bravery. While shorter than his fellow warriors, Luthius was stronger and doughtier than any warrior in the tribe. When Luthius was still a young man, Mabin sent him to the dwarven city of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance. Mabin's tribe had come into conflict with other Alamari, and he needed as much help as he could get. Luthius was unable to convince the dwarven king to aid his tribe, but fell in love with the king's daughter, Skaya. Luthius and Skaya fled the dwarven realm and returned to his tribe. Skaya taught Luthius the art of fighting without pain, the berserker state known as the Battle Wrath, and with it, Luthius became a renowned warrior. Luthius led his tribe to many victories, until eventually he replaced his foster father as chief of his tribe. This peace would not last. During a feast between the tribal leaders of the Alamari and the Avar, the beautiful and power Avar chieftain, Morganan, became enamoured with Luthius and seduced him. Skaya learned of the tryst and fled the village to return to Orzammar. When Luthius rebuffed Morganan's offer of marriage, she left in great anger, and from that moment on, there was war between the two tribes. For fifteen years, the Alamari and Avar fought. During the Battle of Red Falls, a powerful young warrior from Morganan's tribe challenged Luthius to a battle. Luthius was injured grievously, but slew the boy. 
Morgan Ann revealed that the boy was Luthius' son, conceived 15 years ago during their tryst. She cursed Luthius as the murderer of his own kin, and the Battle of Red Falls turned against Luthius. Morgan Ann defeated Luthius in battle after battle, until the Alamari were driven to the foothills of the Frostback Mountains. There, Luthius made a last stand. In the night before Luthius' final battle, Skaer came to him and offered him a dwarven suit of chain in exchange for a night together. Luthius agreed and wore the armour the following morning in battle. The battle was fierce and bloody, and Luthius met Morganan in personal combat. In the end, Luthius slew the warrior woman, but not before receiving a mortal wound to his heart, the chainmail inexplicably unable to block her final blow. Luthius died, and after the battle was done, a party of dwarven warriors came down from the mountain and took the body of Luthius back to Alzamar. From the legend of Luthius Dwarfson, author and recorded, circa 350 ancient. In praise of the humble Nug, I once served a human some Nug, and he proclaimed that it was like eating an unholy union of pork and hare. The idea disturbed him so much that he declined to finish his serving and made himself content with some stale bread. Of course, this only goes to show that surfaces, human or otherwise, have tragically unrefined palates. The Nug is surely the most delicious animal I have ever tasted. Only a dead man would not salivate at the thought of a tender morsel of roast Nug melting in his mouth. The Paragon Varan, although his house has fallen, shall always be remembered for discovering the wonders of Nug flesh. Admittedly, it was discovered only out of desperation when he was separated from his legion and lost in the deep roads for a week, but we won't hold that against the good Paragon. While Nug pancakes and Nuggets, my own children love these, are the Nug dishes one encounters most often, Nug can be prepared in other interesting and elegant ways. The late King Ansgar I Duke and adored Nug, served on a hot metal plate and finished in the oven, and dressed in a cream sauce flavoured with deep mushrooms. You must be careful when using the mushrooms from the deep roads, because they often grow close to darkspawn bodies. They say that this is what gives them their unique flavour and intoxicating scent, but it also means that consuming too many of them may result in curious afflictions of the mind. From In Praise of the Humble Nug by Bragg and Tolben, honoured chef to House Iduken. Traditional Dwarven Folk Songs Nug sits in the mud. Nug wiggles his ears. You catch the Nug, he slips away. Nug gets to live another day. Nug sits in the mud. Nug wiggles his toes. You hook the Nug, he slips away. Now the Nug runs off to play. Nug sits in the mud. Nug wiggles his nose. You tickle the Nug, he laughs away. Now the Nug sits on my plate. Nug pancakes, a well-loved dwarven nursery rhyme. The Sermons of Divine Renata I. The weakness of mortal will is the great failing of all the Maker's children. We trade our honour as if it were the cheapest of currency. We do not understand what integrity is, or what it is truly worth. From this ignorance, original sin was born. At some time each of us has thought, what does it matter if I keep hold of my integrity? I am but one mortal, I am powerless. How blind we are! The virtue of a single slave destroyed the Tevinter Imperium. The dishonour of one man drove the Maker from our sight. I tell you truly, nothing but the integrity of our hearts will win the love of the Maker back to us. It is the power we shall ever possess to change this world for good or for ill. From a Sermon on Integrity Sophia Dryden's Journal The 21st of Alluviesta It is done. The nobles have thrown their lot in with Arland. Arland the snot-nosed man-child. Arland who did not walk till he was in his fifth year. Arland who had to be prized off his nursemaid's breast not two years ago. Or so it is whispered. The Turns and the Isles believe him to be a simpleton and easily led, but I have seen something in the boy's eye and it terrifies me. The Tenth of Molioris I watch the summer day processions from a room high in Fort Draken. The Regent has me for treason, and where my only guilt is of being true to my country and my heart. My guard's tongue was easily loosened with a gift of a ruby ring, and I am told that the bands are fighting against my sentence. I shall pray, but not hope, that it will be anything but the gallows for me. The second of Faventis. The draught was like bitter fire, but I survived. Weep for me, for I survived. Would that they had made a clean end for me. I should have died a lady, the greatest of the Drydens, not lived to become this nothing, this monstrous nothing. The nineteenth of Matrinalis. Enough, I shall waste no more time with this wretched womanish lamentation. Death would have been easy, but fate saw fit to spare me, and I will seize upon this chance. The Grey Wardens are an army and the old commander is weak, a wisp of a man. I will inspire the wardens, and Arland will rue the day he spared my life. 
Select entries from the journals of Warden Commander Sophia Dryden, 